Father, forgive us for what we must do. You'll forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we'll never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet, and we are still here in Kanik Creek, and we are going to be going to a really good fishing spot for a number of species, but mainly Chinook salmon. Some of the biggest uniques I've ever caught have been caught in this location, and we are headed over to the Hunter's Cabin Peg, which is the one on the farther rightmost location. Is that a right way to say that? I'm not sure. It sounds kind of weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and get in here, and I will take you there. Yeah, it is night, and we're not in a peak at the moment, but where we are, we are all the way to the farthest leftmost area. Now, I walked all the way from the hunter's cabin, which is way over there, all the way over here, and to save time... We're going to go ahead and start and see what we can do about catching some fish. But we do need to advance time a little bit here. We need to get to about 3 a.m. I'm working on some salmon trophies, and I figured while I was here, I might as well get some levels up. The only thing I can't get here is a trophy like whitefish. I'd have to go back to white, um, well... Moose Lake or whatever. I was going to say White Moose Lake. I don't think that's right. But we're going to go ahead and set up our rod pod. I have a marker out there where I caught a decent sized Chinook salmon. Let me check the map here. I can't remember. Just it, I don't think it was a unique, but it was a decent one. Yep, it was a trophy. And it met the mission. But that was a 32 pounder. I think it got like around 3,000 cash. So it was definitely a nice fish we are going to go ahead and get our bottom rods out here well that's not right let's try this one there it is now the shiners should do pretty well and if you look at the map we want to kind of throw them in these holes now if i can get a little beyond that mark it would probably be better but in this area over here would also be good in the center. I don't yeah, I can get beyond it. We're gonna to toss it right there. And let's see, I've got salmon sacks on this one. We're gonna put that a little closer in this hole, maybe right around here. Looks like there's plenty of activity right there. And it's pretty deep, pretty deep, not too bad. And we're going to get this, let's see. I don't know if we're going to do the float rod this time or not. We might cast this 8-foot crankbait. Now the water here is probably about 10 feet, so that's going to be a good depth for going after the Chinook. They love a crankbait. Now in the daytime, we'll change it to a different color one. But you can tell when it goes over top of a hole because it'll start going towards the center. Usually right around here, I think. Yep, there it is. See if we can get something's attention here. May need to cast a little bit more to the right. It seems to be a lot of current out here right now. Yeah, let's try tossing it over there. There's definitely fish there. It 
usually they bite pretty good. I'm not sure why I'm not getting a bite already. There we go. It was kind of close to shore that time. Hmm. Let's see what we got. I think we got us a sockeye. Trophy sockeye. Not a bad looking fella. Alright, let's see. Let's try casting down this way a little bit close to that shore there. Now, I'm not sure if I have any other night lures with me. If I have a night spoon, I might give that a try, but I don't think I have any, honestly. Yeah, we might need to switch up our bait here a little bit. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yeah, we should be right in the middle, in the middle of the peak. Surprised we're not getting more bites. Let's see here. What do we got? Anything worthwhile? It's not really looking good. What about on crankbaits? We got the eight foot ones. We got the frog poppers. Just don't have much for nighttime, honestly. Well, you know, we could try this bullet spinner and see if they'll go for it, even though it's dark. Sometimes they still do. It's get a little more distance with this, I, wanna, I know that. There we go. Guess they do go for it. Oh boy. And this is no slouch of a rod. This is a big fish. Yeah, this is a big fish. This could be... Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is at least a trophy. Be nice we got us a unique here. He might be unique, the way he's fighting me, I tell ya. Yeah, I'm thinking it's unique. Jeez, look at that. Okay, let's gain some ground on him here. There we go, we got him. It is a trophy. It's not a unique, but damn, look at that. Almost 4,000 cash, guys. These guys, they bring in some bucks, I tell you. And some XP. Now, let me look at this spinner. I wonder if I could put a tail on it. Let's Yes, I can. Let's see if that does anything to attract them a little more, too. Sometimes that gives you a little bit of oomph, so to speak. Those tail spinners, throw them on a... Or tails, throw them on a spinner. There we go, we got something. First I thought it was small. It's not small. I think it's a common size Chinook, yep. 
1392. And that's common. Still good cash. I'm kind of amazed though. I was sure we'd be getting some bites off of these. Let me see if I can't recast this. I may have cast it out too far. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the shiners, but let me see. We also got the natural eggs and the shrimps. See, I would think though that would do pretty well. But... Yeah, let's, let's try the. Well, no. Let's try the small minnows. And I'm not going to toss this out nearly as far this time. Wait a minute. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put a marker. Actually, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to put one right there. So that I can throw in the proper, you know, the proper location. There we go. We can throw that right over top of that. That's a nice deep hole. We'll grab the spawn sack. Oh, no wonder. I have me a snag. Snags can screw that up every time. Let's sit there. Throw that again. That may change things. Let's see, what do we have on this one? We got the bullets. What do we got on here? Medium spoon. Might try it. I don't know how well it's going to do. We got a bullet spinner on that one too. Let's try that medium spoon. Don't know how well it's gonna do in the dark, but we'll. The bullet spinner did just fine. Mixing things up seems to help a lot. Didn't give much of a cast though. That yeah, was probably a snag too. Oh well, nope, that was a fish. He was right offshore. Another Chinook. He did go for it. Getting lots of Chinook. Not getting quite as much off of that. Let's go back to the bullet spinner. Get a lot more distance with the bullet spinner. I'm going to try way over there. There we go. There's another one. That net is filling up fast, guys. That is one thing I will tell you. This is a great place to grind these guys. I always try to set out a couple of bottom rods. And then do some lure fishing. Now it's probably going to pick up a little bit when it's daylight too. But I didn't really look at the peak for the daytime. 
There we go. Boy, they really do like that lure. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, I remember Dula was the first one that really introduced me to those spinner tails. They really do kind of add something. He also said that the white, the yellow, and the red he's had the most benefit from. Damn, this is a big fish. And he is a wily guy, too. This is at least a trophy. Okay. He's almost in. There we go. Let's see what he is, guys. Ooh! Unique coho salmon, guys. Check him out. Unique coho salmon. 20 bait coins. Let's take a look at this guy. This is the first one I've gotten of these. That's a good size fish. 27 pounds. Nice red fish. All right, we'll keep him. That's going to help. I cannot believe none of these, nothing's going after these bottom rods. Usually I get quite a few. And we still have to find a trophy chum salmon. I don't know that I will get them over here. I haven't gotten very many chum salmon over here. Usually get them over in the rapids. Okay, I think I might switch back over to my my file. Let's put that crankbait back on there again. Actually, let's try the three foot one. It's a little light. I kind of like to see if they might go after it. The other one was an eight foot. We might get a different reaction off of this one. Still got a pretty good cast on it. That's like, yeah, 148 feet. This will be just right at the surface. Yep, I got a reaction. I got me the reaction I was hoping for. Oh boy. It is a Chinook, I could see. And he's of decent size. Wow. That's a good fish. Yeah, I think we're going to be fighting this guy a minute. This might be our unique. I don't know what a unique Chinook goes for as far as bait coins. That's what I'm really curious to see. I've been hoping I get one. Wow, yeah, I think this might be one, guys. He is just running with it. I think I may have to do the old 
hold it up in the air and gain what little I can when he lets loose. Damn, this is a big fish. Okay, we're gaining a little bit. Let's see if we can't get it under 100. Now he's going to take it right back out again. Jeez. Yeah, he doesn't want to give it up too much. Okay, there we go. Of course, he can get all that back in like a second. There he goes. Wow. And you just got to be patient. Let him take it. getting some ground there all right we might have him this time we can keep him fooled into thinking he's not caught there we go we got him we got him there he is 46 bait coins guys 46 bait coins. Look at this fellow. He is so big that he can't fit on the screen. Wow. 46 bait coins. 60.611 pounds. Almost 2,000 XP gained for him. I'm about ready to level up yet again. Whoa. Let's get a picture of this guy. Whoa! That's a fish. That's a fish. Man. Nice. I've been hoping to get one of these guys. I have been so hoping to get one of those. I hope this picture takes real well because it is a nice one. Jeez. Well, that's the spot, guys. That's what I was talking about. Caught that with a three-foot glow-in-the-dark two-odd crankbait. They went shallow. And it's almost morning. I don't know if we'll start picking up the bottom rods at that time or not. I haven't gotten one bite off of them. That's really surprising, though. Usually I do. I think that's the most bait coins I've gotten off of any fish in this game so far. Whoa, there's another one. We're going to come out with a lot of cash for this one. That's another trophy sockeye. <laughs> this is a hit this particular lure can't get a lot of distance out of it because it's so light on these particular rods but that doesn't seem to make a difference jeez not one iota and we're Seriously picking up the fish here. Another coho. So we've gotten a unique coho. We've gotten a unique Chinook. A couple of trophy sockeyes. Oh. Why did I do that? Oh, there we go. I 
we are about to move on to the next day. I'm kind of curious to see just how much money I've brought in. Man, this lower rocks. Yeah, this is a common one, so I think it's another coho. Yep. The coho salmon are definitely over here. Well, there's the time change. I'm not so sure. I thought it was going to go on to the next day. Maybe it's at 6 a.m. I thought it was 5. Yeah, let me take a look. Yep. There it is. Extend stay. I thought it was five. I have gotten so far 80 bait coins today. 32,000 cash and 11,000 XP. That is very good. Let me see what I have. Well, actually it's too late. I've already, <laughs> they're already gone. But let me see here. Yeah, the peak is not right now. We have we'd have to go to here at the end of the day. So the bottom fishing may not be good right now. But near the evening it will be. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Come over here to this location. Do what you can to see if you can catch these guys. These these guys they bite. They bite a lot. I saw that activity over there. I thought I'd at least throw that out and see what happens. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.